Hey guys, Dynasty Warrior 6 here again with another Game Finds video. Uh, just to let everyone know, I am getting sick again, surprisingly, but it's probably due to stress. I'm having issues with uh, money right now with unemployment, but that's totally different. No concern though now, because of tomorrow I'm taking care of it. But anyways, we did get some Game Finds. Uh, fairly decent finds overall. Got some Shop Goodwill deals. Shop Goodwill deals, la la la. But I will start us off with a trade package that actually came in about, oh gosh, I want to say three or four days ago. It was great. It came from CZ, let me see where it goes, uh, CZS716. I don't know if anyone can read that. It's kind of small, but no big deal. I had, uh, he had messaged me recently, and it's not more, not so much a trade package, it's more I, I purchased something from him. And he thought of me when he was thinking of doing this. And I really appreciate it. So big shout out to CZS716, there will be a link in his description, definitely check him out guys, he comes out with pickup videos, awesome stuff, and he gets a lot of great stuff too. So I already opened it, kind of got it you know, rolling here, so I'll move this out of the way, and it looks like uh, right here on top it says manuals, which he had promised me the manuals, to a couple items, but it looks like, oh, there's a note, okay, I got a note first, Dynasty Boy got six. Let's see what we got here. All right. Dynasty Warriors 6, it was a pleasure doing business with you. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy the new system and games. Keep up all the awesome videos and all those really great deals. LOL. I know, I'll try. All these deals are always really great or good. Now open the package and enjoy. You're wasting too much time reading this. No problem, your friend CZS716. I'll definitely save your note in my little box. No worries there. I like the little Dynasty Warriors 6 right here. There we go. So first part of the package that came in was a couple manuals. It looks like they're all the manuals for the system. Uh, as everyone can kind of tell, it is a 32x manual. Um, he said that's as anyone can guess. That's probably what he sent me. But here's all the manuals, all the instructions, everything like that. Thank you for putting that in there like that. CZS716. Set that right there. I'm gonna put this down here. Sorry, I'm still. Coming up, okay, baggies. Oh, okay, we got something in this baggie. And, the, and one of them is a game. It's a Virtual Fighter 32X loose card. Sweet. Set that down right there. Uh, let's see, empty baggie, empty baggie. All right, so then next up uh, is obviously uh, hookups for everything. It's pretty cool looking. There we go. So I'll set the hookups right there. Up. Oh. Up. Oh, connector right there. Very cool. Set that down. Make sure that bag is empty. Wipe my nose because I'm still fighting it. Jeez, my nose is just not stopping. All right. There we go. Oh, plus there, this bag right here. Uh, we got the power, the adapter for it. Sega Model 2103. Perfect. Thank you so much. There we go. Oh, I'm using the wrong thing, but that's okay, you know. Next up, uh, let's pull this out. Ah, there it is. Oh, one bag down. Another bag down. <laughs> Jeez Louise. There it is, the 32X. Very cool. All right, so I'll set that right over there. Get that out of the way. And the next thing, is he sent me two games included in the deal. There we are, set that down. It looks like it's empty, yep. Two games, let me get this open real quick. That's why I got the scissors just in case. There we go. So he sent me two complete and box games. He sent me, put that down. Uh, he sent me Mortal Kombat 2. Oops, sliding out in great condition. These boxes are in fantastic shape, which I can't think enough for that. Mortal Kombat 2 though on 32X. Oh, beautiful. And Doom on 32X. Complete in box. And they're, they're just freaking breathtakingly perfect. Awesome. Thank you. So big shout out to CZS716. Definitely check him out, guys. He's an awesome YouTuber to watch. He's got great videos. And it was awesome. Thank you so much for sending that to me. And thank you for working out a deal with me on that. So next up is now Game Finds. Uh, we I did, I got a lot of good finds, guys. On, I know, ironically enough, on a couple Sega deals and bundles, and on Shop Goodwill. 
I'll start off with what Joel traded me recently. Joel as well, you know, everyone knows Joel is one of my buddies who goes game hunting with me. He traded for a 64 game for uh, one of his Sega com kind of complete games. It was the Bears Team Bears uh, Camping Adventure. I'm looking, you know, for Sega cart, you know, Sega box games. So Bears Team Bears is one of them I needed. And then let's start off with one game I picked up at a pawn shop. I'll start off with Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Cost me $10. I did pay overpay probably a little bit on this. I was really looking for this though. You know, Metal Gear Solid is one of those collections I'm going for. So there we go on that. And then on to and then another um, a, a Goodwill purchase that I got for um, $4 was Tomb Raider. Now this one guys is up for trade if anyone is interested in it. It is a Greatest Hits edition. It is in perfect condition. Freaking breathtaking. So this is up for trade though if anyone is interested in it. And I picked up, now this is going in my personal collection because I am collecting this series. I picked up off Shop Goodwill for like $10, $15 was Mortal Kombat 4. And it's Greatest Hits Edition, but it is Mortal Kombat 4. I've been looking for this for quite a while, so I, I'm really happy to pick this up. Mortal Kombat 4. And then I picked up at the Goodwill Outlet store for a dollar, I picked up a Spec Ops Ranger Elite. And a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Each of those, Spec Ops and Tony Hawk's, was a dollar each, which was really cool to get. And then, for from a, a from a Goodwill regular store, I picked up uh, for like three, four dollars each. I picked up Mole Mania on Game Boy, and I picked up Cool Spot on Game Boy. And then for five dollars, and it came with this a little holder, which was really cool because they're hard to find sometimes. If it would just come out, it was. I picked up Spider-Man Three for five dollars at Goodwill, which is really cool. I like I like getting handhelds now a little bit more. It's really helpful to have those. And then at the outlet store, I also picked up for eighty-six cents. All this together came to eighty-six cents. I'll move that over there. Eighty-six cents for all this. I picked up another copy of Jungle Book. So if anyone is interested in a loose cart Jungle Book, the label is got a little damage up top. But 80 for you know for breaking it down. I also picked up two Game Boy holders games. There we go. And two Nintendo sleeves. And a game with a Nintendo sleeve. And all so all that came with these, you know, all this, plus the jungle bug, plus the Nintendo Nintendo sleeves was 86 cents. So and the, the Nintendo game I got was SMK's Baseball Stars. Not bad for 20 cents, possibly. There we go. But the Game Boy's over there. And then I picked up at a pawn, another pawn shop for about $3 each. I picked up Target Renegade. And I picked up Base Wars. Uh, let's see. Cyber Stadium Series Base Wars. So for $3 each. Not bad. And then, let's see. So And then I picked up at uh, a Goodwill for $2.50. was a Dreamcast controller with some writing on it. But it's been really clean. I just have to use Magic Eraser and get that off. No problem there on that for two dollars and fifty cents a Dreamcast controller, and I also picked up for about four, three or four dollars was another Dreamcast controller, really clean, just some magic eraser and some goo gone right there. It's a little sticky, but there we go. So two Dreamcast controllers for three, four dollars, like you know, one was two fifty, one was three or four dollars, and then Joel found me at a, pawn, a, a another pawn shop for five dollars. He found me a Nintendo GameCube Power. I already had the red, white, and yellow. Now I've got the power in the system. So I just need to get a controller, and then I've got the whole system set. So thank you, Joel, on that one for finding that for me right there. And then for $4 at Goodwill, I picked up a Nintendo 64 video game holder, which was so cool because it's going to help consolidate down a lot of my 64 games that are sitting out or just laying around. So I found this for $4. Now it is coming undone a little bit up here, and it's you know faded a little bit. But you know what? Overall, it was in gr pretty good shape overall, and for four dollars, not bad, not bad at all. So, and then I got a shop Goodwill purchase fairly recently uh, in the mail. Finally, I got three games I needed and four games I don't, but one is going to replace another one. I picked up uh, for one game I needed from Shop Goodwill, and this came to like twelve to seventeen dollars. For the whole thing, I can't remember exactly, like 12 to 15 maybe. But Triple Play, or wait, Sports Talk Baseball, sorry. Sports Talk Baseball, complete. 
Triple play, there it is. Triple play 96. Oh, no, there it is. Triple play 96. Oh, come on. There we go. Cyberball. Looks like a football game. Complete. Very nice. Every cart looks in great shape. Uh, this game is up for trade. It's got some gunk on this, but I will try to clean that up and everything. But it's NBA Jam, regular. Uh, the manual is missing the front cover, though. It is missing that. But, you know, for 3 or $4 a cart or a game with that's complete, not bad. So, NBA Jam, that's up for trade if anyone wants it. Uh, this is the game that's going to replace my current copy. I picked up another Sonic the Hedgehog 2, but surprisingly, this Sonic the Hedgehog 2 has like every poster inside of it. It's got the manual, it's got the Batman Returns poster, and it's got Get a Grip Game Gear poster, and the reply. And the, this cart is in fantastic shape. It's not even faded one bit. It's freaking amazing. So, the whole this whole thing was awesome. So I'm going to definitely replace my Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So there's another... Sonic the Hedgehog 2 that is complete without all the posters up for trade, guys, if anyone is interested in that. Picked up a duplicate NFL Football 94 if anyone's interested. It is complete. Oh, it's got a poster, though. I might have to check that out. But there we go. And NHL PA Hockey 93 complete. And this one is up for trade. So there we go. Right now this is running. Sorry about that. But there we go. So some good games. Some other games I needed for my collection that were... Not desperately needed, but helpful to pick up. Then I picked. Up, then I got another. Uh, I got a Craigslist deal. Uh, another one, finally, a good one. Um, it was. Oh, I'm gonna save that one for last because it's, oh, it's got definitely one of my top games, possibly that I picked up recently. But this is another shop goodwill purchase I got from. Uh, I picked it up myself. Sadly, this did cost me forty-eight dollars. But there's one game, and there's one reason why it did. But first up that came was an X-Men loose cart. It's got some minor cosmetic damage right here. Kind of just threw out the label a little bit. If anyone's interested in it, hit me up. I'll definitely trade this guy this guy away. I also picked up another Sonic the Hedgehog 2 loose cart. And a Star... This is up for trade if anyone wants it. And a Star Wars 32X game. So that's another 32X game that I've been looking for. So there we go. Very cool. Got a plastic holder for some strange reason. It doesn't even look like it's a Nintendo holder. Go figure. But anyways, so some games I got from the Shop Goodwill purchase. I picked up Dragon, the, the Bruce Lee story. Complete in box. Very nice. I picked up Lotus 2. Um, not Sadly, not complete. But at least it's semi got the case and everything. I picked up another copy, and if anyone's interested, of Lion King. I'll definitely be willing to trade this if anyone is interested in Lion King. And I picked up the definite uh, one that made the deal $48, and this is why. I picked up, as anyone knows, Gunstar Heroes. If anyone knows, Gunstar Heroes is like a $30 game. And this is in fantastic shape. I cannot wait to try it out and play it. This is like Metal Slug or Contra, but this is Sega's version. It's... It looks like it's a blast. I cannot wait. No pun intended. I cannot wait to try it out. Awesome. So Gunstar Heroes. Sadly, it did cost me $48 for the whole bundle, but this game is worth $30. So not bad. That will definitely go straight into my collection. And the last uh, ones I picked up off of Craigslist, and this cost me about $45, but there's one game in here I was really wanting, and it totally made the deal worthwhile, and it paid for the whole deal. First game I picked up that was... Uh, pretty cool. It's pretty kind of, kind of rare. It's like a ten dollar game. It's Haunting, starring Polterguy. It is only cart and case, but Haunting. There we go. I picked up Shadow Run, which is like a ten to fifteen dollar game, and I paid like twelve for it or something like that. But sadly, it is not complete. But the reason why I went for this deal was because of this guy. I picked up Shining Force Two. And if anyone knows about Sega games, this is definitely, if you're collecting Sega games and you don't have this game, this is an expensive game. This is a 50, usual $50 complete in box game. I do have it completely complete. I have the, the, the game is in fantastic shape. I have the manual, everything. Shining Force 2 for, I paid $25 for this. I paid half the price you would normally pay. And this box is in really good shape considering, you know, everything that's been through. So, Shining Force 2 and Gunstar Heroes in the same week 
are two of the rarer Sega Genesis games I just added in the same week to my collection. So I'm really happy, but this is definitely my big find of the whole adventure was Shining Force 2. And I was so glad the guy was willing to wait and let me pick it up. So there we go. Awesome, awesome deals. So that is it for game finds. Uh, we had a pretty good haul, just not, once again, it was kind of slim pickings out there on the game stores and at the outlets and at Goodwill, but we still managed to pull out some good stuff. I'm hoping this unemployment thing will get taken care of tomorrow, but I will see you guys next week. Also, check out CZS716's channel and have a great weekend.